Hey, this is Niladri, and today we'll talk about uh, one of the Excel template that's help you track your sprint. Though there are multiple tools in the market like uh, Jira or Rally, but uh, I was getting lots of requests on, uh, do you have something on Excel? And based on your digital.ai survey, you found that uh, Excel is in use in the third position. So keeping that in mind, what we will do is we will quickly walk you through about this template. This is a very simple template. And as of now, we have just launched for two week iterations. And if we found, OK, this is useful and the demand is coming up for other um, weeks, we will go into that as well. <clears throat> so let's begin. All right, so we'll come into our uh, this definition tab. Under this definition tab, this is uh, we have inherited from our previous template that was for capacity planning. So first, what we will start with, we'll plan our capacity. And this is a two-week sprint, and in this two-week sprint, we'll plan, okay, what is your sprint name? What's your focus factor when you are starting your sprint? So let's assume uh, we are starting instead of uh, this where I will be starting today is 21st. So let's plan somewhere around 20, uh, let's say 20th or 21st. 21st was Tuesday. Okay, we will start it now. And we can define, okay, there is some holiday which falls under 24th. Yeah. So 24th of June, we are starting at 21st and 24th of June, we are marketing, uh, marking as holidays and some holiday reason why it is a holiday. This is just for your uh, internal purpose. Now you can identify how many team members you have. We can actually leave this blank if we don't have all those people. We will not be changing anything. Those are gray in color. Those are having formulas. And uh, I will say, okay, I have actually these many people. Maximum limits that we have is uh, 15 members up to uh, this one. And <clears throat> we can also define that, okay, what are my different sprint duration? Uh, sorry, what are the different events on ceremonies that uh, we will spend time on? This is where you can add and total up coming up as five, uh, five hours. This is what we are capturing it in minutes. And in this area, this is where we capture who, if anyone have any holidays or plan holidays that that is help us plan for this is someone is taking a full day off and that will help us. Okay, if anyone is taking any vacations or not, that's a very high level. If we go into analytics, this is some uh, thing that we will use for uh, graphical or analytical purpose. Uh, we will try to rephrase that based on our data. And <clears throat> I'll just refresh it. If you look at your final capacity, this is coming up for these many people that we have entered. And what's their role is, this is a role specific uh, charts it shows about. And final capacity, it will deduct your total hours what is coming up. It will deduct all these uh, ceremonies and event times. And after applying the focus factor, that is this 90% that we have mentioned, it will be showing you the final plan or capacity now the next thing comes up that's the most interesting part before we go into that interesting part one area of the definitions we'll talk about this is the planning settings that okay what are the default subtasks that you use you can have these many subtasks that's by default i think sufficient enough and what is the flow of your status you can define okay these are all the flow of status this is where all your work will treat it as done over here all your work is the beginning status and if you want to plan certain set of user story, I have just added some user stories over here so that uh, it can automatically plan in my worksheets. If you have something, you can put it or even if you don't have, you will be able to add it directly on the sheets. Now I'll come into the planning and tracking. In the planning and tracking, this is how it looks like. By default, there are few data were entered, but you can start it from the scratch. You can see this is the sprint X name coming up. That is based on what we have entered at the definition. So my sprint X, I can say this is uh, sprint 25. So everywhere it will be populating that number. This is sprint 25. And right now we are start the sprint was started on 21st. The red color over here says where we are right now. This is current date and nine days remaining. We'll talk about these values in a while. Let us populate our task or all the stories that we have added over here. So 
over here what we will be doing is we will click on restart planning in any case if you want don't want to work on any of the macros this is a macro enabled excel so there will be a lot of programming is happening in the back end so you can go for design mode and work on any designing that you want that time the macro will be on paused so i'll go here i don't want to change anything here i'll start by clicking on this restart planning when you click on this restart planning it will clear all the data over here so even if you accidentally click on it it will for your precaution it will ask you some message and over here you will be working on okay this is uh, the number that i need to add so i'll just add it 0 0.705 0 0.705475 all right i'll just add it now it will start working on this once it has cleared it it will ask you do you want to leave it with this clear data or you want to add automatically the stories that we have added in the definition so if i click yes it will be start adding all those stories you need to keep some patience while it is adding and all the subtasks that we have designed so all the tasks are and stories are added now this will be where we will work on it now over here <clears throat> there are a few areas that you need to look into as of now we will not be adding any data or overwriting this formula these are all formulas don't overwrite them you will be adding the values on the white cells and as of now you can see this blue bar over here is actually signifying how many days remaining so as of now one day is passed it kind of showing something is empty this blue area is needed to work on this entire uh, sec worksheets have two section one is what is the stories and task details another is daily activity that we will be doing as of now you can see the story points have populated because these are the stories we already had some story points and none of them are done zero percent is completed there is no burn up time spent is empty and capacity remaining is 506 based on our total capacity that we have planned over here is somewhere uh, 634 all right so this uh, capacity remaining is talking about how much is remaining as of today or from today you already have passed one day so it will calculate based on total capacity how much you have and it will show you how much is remaining today so for example if you are uh, let's say you have started yesterday right now it's showing 506 now if we have started our sprint let's say on 20th so from this data you'll be able to see this is coming down because you have this much of capacity remaining as of date so this is a real time data i'll change it to 21st what we have and we will uh, move ahead from there now there are a few other informations that we look into but this is what we have uh, all the data this yellow one is the auto calculated i you can estimate okay how much uh, time we need uh, for this one based on someone says okay i will be needing five hours these are all in hours and i can assign to some of these people who will be working on it so based on that assignations you uh, it will be started populating this data that okay, your burn down has started populating some data have came up zero stories were done and story points are planned this many 41 story point done is this uh, but there is no burn up yet and time we have not spent any effort remaining is five hours this is only what we have entered and open defects there is no defects open open task uh, is 60 tasks that we have opened and load as of today is five one percent because we have 506 capacity and only five hours of work remaining so i'll quickly add few more values so let's add four hours three hours six hours and let's say 10 hours so all those data will be automatically populating and i can actually assign to individual people it does some backend change when we are assigning that we can stop from update summary on assignment change we will look into that what exactly it updates so i'm just assigning sachin then i will be assigning to for example again naveen 
and I'll be assigning to Tina. So for example, this is one story. These are the subtasks I have assigned to these people and what exactly in backend it's changed there is a planning summary it's actually looks into that all those stories that we have who is having how many work for what story so this is the capacity they have and Akshay is working on five hours for this user story and you can actually quickly look into okay this is the user story that they have and uh, for uh, if you wants to look it in a better way you can actually uh, minimize uh, the rows or columns that if you want so that uh, you can see okay this is how exactly coming up this information you will also able to get once you will hover over on this story so this is one story that we have planned it will be coming up at any given point of time if you want to do it little faster i can uncheck that and the tool uh, update summary for assignment change will not come so i will start assigning this let's say two over here and six over here this will be much faster because it's not doing any backend change for updating that seats but you can do that as a bulk update so i'll just quickly uh, select these people <clears throat> and naveen i will be doing some other people that i wants to add now over here if you go back on our planning and summary this is not updated but i can click on this button it will get the data from there and update it accordingly now you can see these all data are updated this sachin it's uh, alone is working on it will show you what are the tasks they are working on analysis then design then development everything is they have assigned eight hours a details breakdown you will be able to see on that comment and over here also uh, you are able to see how much they have occupied if I come back over here, there is one tracking that you can do. For example, another story that I am, uh, I will just check this uh, so that it can update it. I say this is needed 39 hours and I want it to have it by so example mark. Okay, so you can see over here in the planning summary, Mark, uh, Mark, Mark have 39 hours of work planned for this one, but the capacity is 21. Now for other story, if I am planning again Mark for let's say another 30 hours and I am assigning Mark again, so throughout these uh, worksheets, it will turn Mark as red because it's uh, over occupied now. So we, it's giving an indicator that you are over occupying uh, whatever Mark's capacity is. So I can try to find out if I make it as 20, maybe yeah, this is good. So in that way, you will be having all those data sets updated throughout all those prints. So quickly, I'll populate few of the data and then we'll talk about rest of the ideas. Okay, just give me one moment. All right, so I have updated uh, four stories. I am not uh, doing for all of them uh, for saving uh, I, this time. Now, <clears throat> this is particularly we do when we are doing the sprint planning and find out who have how many works or not. And to uh, look into a better uh, capacity allocations, it shows a chart who have how many allocated. And it shows uh, Mark is little over occupied. So uh, once we will be updating that it will be coming up mark uh, if i go into the tracking data <clears throat> where is the capacity yeah uh, over here so mark if i look into that uh, mark is just having 1.08 and based on this data is actually uh, showing you that as of today how much mark have and will be able, mark will able to do it or not so the total capacity mark had was as of at the time of planning but now already one day over it shows who is actually having little over uh, overloaded that will give you okay mark is little overloaded now this is what you have entered i'll quickly walk you through this shows okay what is the current date today uh, your uh, burn down chart will be started showing over here how many stories are done story points done 
percentage of story points done and burn up and this is where every day so let's assume that we came up and today we will be start entering that how many hours spent so Akshay said I spent four hours here you can see this color over here this color is turned to amber because the work is came as work in progress and then uh, someone says I says three hours I worked on four hours I worked on let's say five hours and I works on this many hours at the story level it shows the progress of the overall stories how it is progressing Sachin's work it was estimated as three spent four hours so there is nothing remaining so it's turned at green it will give you an indication that okay whether it is to do or done so let's say on the next day uh, what happened is uh, Sachin came up and spent two hours so this will turn as green so once everything will be turned as green let's say this is one hours remaining i have turned it and this is another i have not done anything i have one hour spent and i have uh, nine hours spent so the entire story is, is green that is what you need to manually move it to done if you are sure actually this is done so the moment i will be doing done you can see the open task is actually changing now over here this is what we able to see the open tasks are also changing over here the moment i will complete all the tasks done you can see the story is automatically turn is to done your percentage done is also coming up as uh, one percent is done and percent completed hours is totally you have uh, capacity this much and how much is remaining how many percentage of hours that you had to do how, and how much you have completed the effort remaining and how much is completed it will give you a ratio that okay this is how much is completed at the same way you can do that every day you focus on one columns have the work done total estimate we have done 239 how much we have completed this 28 is completed so it shows me okay this is how much is completed now if I look into <coughs> the toolbar if i want to add some new story over here so if i just scroll at the bottom some point of time i want to create a new story i will be having uh, options to add story and it will ask me uh, questions okay what is your story id let's say i'm giving usb 1100 something like that the story point is actually eight story point and some uh, story details that as a i want so that I want to add that story I'll add this story so it will create the story at the bottom now the story is created you can see us 1100 this is already got created the task are also got populated but at some point of time you wants to add some more tasks to that you can do it by enable this toolbar so whenever you click on any of these user story it will show you a toolbar that you want to create as another task you want to create a defect I want to create a task I'll create it over here and I say this is something as code review all right so I'll add that subtask so code review is now added you just need to add that value as of now this is not estimated once you'll estimate it the color will also change and you can assign it to someone if you want there is a bug you want to add that click on the stories create a bug and you can say okay bug one two three whatever the number is or whatever the text is so it will create a bug it will show always in a red color it will also show the open defects count is over here and you can uh, assign how much work it will be taking once this one is closed it will be marked as closed as of now this is four and i says okay this is for example assigned to jason four hours it will be taking and once uh, jason have spent four hours for example so the uh, this will be turned as uh, how many hours is remaining okay so once this is turned as uh, green i can mark it as done by manually checking it and this will be showing open defects is none all right okay so um, there are a few other areas that if you wants to collapse all of these and just want to see at a story level view you can click on collapse all the stories are now you can see in this view if you want to expand all it will expand all the stories so that you can get a view accordingly some point of time one story is got blocked you want to highlight that so click on the story click on this block this is the story title and the details you say block what is the reason of the block maybe you can say test envion ment is test environment is not available 
E N V I R O. Okay, the spelling check you can look into when you will be doing. So, this story is marked as blocked. Now, over here, this is uh, once you'll hover over the ID, it says the story is blocked. And uh, on this date, the reason is came up. So, this icon is shows, okay, the stories is blocked. At any given point of time, you want to block another one, you can mark the story as blocked. Or if you want to unblock that, click on it. This is uh, talking about the test environment is not available. You can unblock it and there is no longer any block over the comments you can see the history that it was blocked when and unblocked when it will give you an indicator now we'll uh, quickly <coughs> look into uh, one of the other areas all right and the other areas also you will be able to see that uh, once we have moved one story point to done your barn up has showing some data it also shows how many story point is done and it also talks about how many total effort hours was completed so for example if i uh, move all of them so for example i'm just explicitly this is a um, let's do it this eight story pointer if i just manually move it to done though then only you'll able to see that graphs over there is also changing so i'm just uh, marking them as done now you can see the burn down chart also have came up on this date your uh, total effort remaining will be changing once we'll have that effort and this will actually give you a true indicators of where are you right now now though your uh, burn down chart over here is very tiny to have a view we can look into that uh, from a different tracker area so this is a tracking data don't change anything this is actually summarize all of your data for populating the graph uh, so this is uh, keep it over here don't change it anything if you wants to don't hide it also because if you hide it the graph will not be populating now in the planning summary this is what you have uh, got if you wants to have a final data you can fetch that it will come up that overall how the team have uh, planned their work and the progress summaries talks about okay how is your burn down looks like how is your burn up looks like this is the team members capacity allocations this is if loads as on today this is 22nd of june 2022 how these are different uh, how much they have allocated this is the total uh, limit they have based on 100 percent limit and uh, where exactly they are right now this is also shows as an individual burn down that okay for individual levels each person if you wants to monitor them how their burn down is coming up these are the few people that we have that we are not using they will be at the ground we have not estimated anything once uh, we will quickly look into if there is anything pending important that you wants to look at expand we talked about and uh, this is all the indicators that you have and the limitation is uh, totally it will allow as of now 225 rows after that uh, though it's too much of rows to work as a two weeks of sprint i think that is sufficient enough it will also show based on how the team's total allocation is and what is the load you have today and you can also once you complete your data it will automatically populate and it will show you this is actually to be referred on the last day it will automatically calculate okay what was the capacity and what was the day one uh, commitment that you have and what is the last days you have spent so it will give you a high level data of over commitment and under commitment one data that we have that's called master format don't change it this is the format where all the data will be copying from so this data you are not supposed to change no formula if you change it you may face difficulties when it is working on so better you can lock it if you are sharing it in a shared drive and other people are using it you can lock these worksheets with a password so that one person who are uh, working on it can have a control on it similarly the tracking data over here don't lock it because it's got gets automatically updated make a copy always in case somewhere you are making any changes it should not be geoprioritized the whole worksheets you will be able to work it accordingly are we clear everyone i believe yes in case you have any doubt uh, you can uh, drop us a mail we have the details information at our definition uh, readme file and in the readme file we'll also have this video tutorials link uh,
any questions you have you can uh, write his write us back on support at the rate agiledigest.com hope this will be useful for you we will see you in some other video other template other tutorial till that time have a wonderful day bye bye